the Pokemon franchise has been around for over 20 years. From when the first games came out up to the newest games, there have been many features that were added, changed, or even taken away. Hey guys, I'm Pokeplay, and today I'm going to talk about six features that you'll never see again in Pokemon. The Pokeathlon is a place where the player can have their Pokemon participate in events against other Pokemon. There are five courses that can be chosen, speed, power, skill, stamina, and jump. Each of those courses have three events that your Pokemon has to complete alongside the other Pokemon. If you win a course, you'll win points that you can use to buy prizes like stones or items. This made the Pokeathlon pretty useful. Some people were looking forward to seeing the Pokeathlon in newer games, but unfortunately, it seems to be staying in the Johto region. Forever. Back in Generation 4, you could take small stickers called seals, and you could place them on a ball capsule, which could be turned into a Pokeball. Then when you sent out your Pokemon, instead of just a flash of light coming out of the Pokeball, you could have different animations depending on which seal you used. It was pretty cool and made your Pokemon feel a little more unique. Lots of people were sad to see this feature not come back in the later games. Running shoes were first introduced in Generation 3 and last showed up in Generation 6. They were kind of annoying because when you first started your adventure, you had to wait until a certain point of the game in order to get these shoes. It made the game feel super slow until you finally obtained them. Luckily, as of Generation 7, running shoes were taken away, and now you can run right away when you start the game. Now, one of the most annoying things about Pokemon were roaming Pokemon. The only way to encounter one of these guys was to be at the same route as the roaming Pokemon, walk in the grass, and hope that you get that cool music that means you found your target. But it doesn't stop there. You have to hope that you have a Pokemon with the move Block or the ability Shadow Tag so that he doesn't flee. Roaming Pokemon were first introduced in the second generation with the legendary dogs and last appeared in Pokemon X and Y with the legendary birds. In Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they reintroduced a fantastic feature of having a Pokemon follow you. It made the game feel way more alive, and it was a great way to show off any shinies you had. It was originally introduced in Pokemon Yellow, with your starter Pikachu trailing behind you instead of staying in its Pokeball. Since so many people liked it so much, they were looking forward to newer games to have the brand new Pokemon follow you. But it still hasn't shown up yet. You could see that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee reintroduced this feature, but it's limited to your starter, and they don't really follow you like how Pokemon would in Gen 4. Alright guys, looks like that's going to be it for today. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Let me know in the comments which one of these features you would like to see reintroduced. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later.